combination of four systems that we call spheres. You've got the hydrosphere, the geosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere. Now, all of these spheres are connected in simple and complex ways. That's right. They're interdependent. That means they interact and they can affect each other. We love to explore all of the systems on Earth. <laughs> so let's go explore. All right, we're gonna talk about these spheres. Bring in the spheres! Whoa. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> this is the hydrosphere. Now the water we free dive in here is part of the hydrosphere. Now the hydrosphere you see is all of Earth's water, from that in the ocean to water in lakes, rivers, groundwater, and even water vapor and precipitation. Now the hydrosphere interacts with all other Earth systems via the water cycle, moving from land to water body to air and back again. And this movement greatly affects the water and climate produced in the atmosphere. This is one of Rob's favorites. This, my friends, is the atmosphere. Check it. All right, I'm getting ready to jump out of this plane into the atmosphere. The atmosphere we're falling through here is the layer of air and gases that surrounds Earth. It's where all our weather happens and it helps shape the different climates on Earth, like the rainforest and desert. Air is everywhere and the atmosphere interacts constantly with the other systems. For example, it interacts with the hydrosphere via precipitation and evaporation. It interacts with the geosphere via light. This is the geosphere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. The geosphere is made of all the solid rock and soil on Earth's crust, the mantle, the hot and molten outer core, and the inner core. Check it. All right, let's go. We walk and climb all over the geosphere. It can interact with the hydrosphere like this river cutting through the land and it even directly affects the atmosphere and biosphere with the intense power of an erupting volcano. The most amazing thing I've ever seen. Say, so has anybody seen the biosphere? Okay, keep going. A little lower, a little lower. Whoa. This is the biosphere. The biosphere includes all of the living things on our planet, including these iguanas. <laughs> it also includes the tiniest microorganisms, in addition to trees, grass, and every animal you can think of. Nearly every part of the planet can support some kind of life. So the biosphere is constantly interacting with elements of each Earth system. Birds fly in the atmosphere, fish swim in the hydrosphere, and there are even microbes that live here in the geosphere. All right, so in conclusion, Earth is more than just rock. It's a combination of systems or spheres that all interact and affect each other. These 
interactions can be big or small, but one thing is for sure, these spheres are all connected, and they work to make Earth what it is. So remember, never stop exploring your world. Alright, so see what interactions you can find in your own backyard. From the geosphere, to the biosphere, and the squirrel. To the atmosphere. And the hydrosphere. Water, water, water. Oh, it brings light.